Hey everybody, Elliot Chun from Future Shop here at TEDx Vancouver 2010. I have the honor of speaking with Dr. Jack Horner. You guys might recognize his name. He is the dinosaur guru, I would say globally, the dinosaur guru. Dr. Horner, welcome. Thank you. And congr congratulations on a fantastic talk for TEDx. What did you share today? Well, I was mostly just talking about, uh, about how we have too many dinosaurs and we need to get rid of some. And, you know, um, to the heartbreak of many six-year-olds, I think, if we're, if we're getting rid of them. I know I, I love them growing up as a kid. That's true. But um, we've overnamed them because there's juveniles that uh, people just didn't recognize. And so now we're starting to realize that, that some of the dino, even like Triceratops, you know, a very popular dinosaur, isn't full-grown. And when it's full-grown, the full-grown version we call Taurosaurus. And now, so we, we, Triceratops was named first, Taurosaurus second, that means Taurosaurus is sort of the name that goes. So now we know that Triceratops, a full grown one, is really big and has holes in its frill. And there's a whole bunch of them like that, you know. We can, sun, we call it synonymy. We, you know, determine who the adult is and who the juvenile is. So it's kind of cool. No, for sure. And I got to ask you, your favorite dino, maybe right now, because I know you have you go through a lot of them. Well, I like Triceratops right now, um, just because we're doing a lot of work on it, and, and it's a cool dinosaur, and it changes drastically as it grows up. I mean, it its horns change and its frill changes, and gets big holes in its frill at the end. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. Very remarkable. We actually saw that in your presentation. So if you guys want to check it out, visit the TEDx Vancouver website. You can see the whole presentation there. And Dr. Horner, I, I got to share that I'm a big uh, Toronto Raptors so fan for basketball. So Raptors, my personal favorite. What do you think about the Raptor? Well, I, uh, the Raptor is okay. You know, in Jurassic Park, he eats a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty deadly, yes. That's right. So, you know, I I worked on Jurassic Park, so it was fun to work with the Raptors. Absolutely. I'm glad you brought that up because we got a lot of movie buffs out there. What was it like working with Steven Spielberg? That must have been a, a great ride. It was a lot of fun. Um, it, was, it was really fun working on the dinosaurs, making dinosaurs, and making them the way I wanted them to look. So, you know, it's, when you have an opportunity to make them look the way you want, then you know, then you know you're right. Absolutely. So I guess the depictions in that movie were pretty accurate then in terms of scale and the way they, they looked. Well, they were pretty accurate according to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think many would agree that uh, if there's anyone to talk about dinosaurs, it's you, Dr. Horner. My last question for you, it's, it relates to Future Shop and a Twitter campaign we have going on. It's hashtag the future I want dot dot dot. So Dr. Horner, the future you want. I don't want anyone to go extinct. There we go. You heard it here first at Future Shop at TEDx Vancouver. Dr. Horner, thanks very much for being with us. You're welcome. <laughs> very welcome.